Welcome back to the channel. So here we are in Manakara. This is my brother-in-law's rental house. He rents this house here in Manakara for 150,000 Ariari a month. I do believe that is around about $34 US. 30 pounds sterling, something like that. Kairola is here on vacation. She's having a holiday here for a few days. This is how the Malagasy do it. If they want a holiday, they go to a relative's house and say, hey, here we are. We've come to stay for a holiday. Check out your house, check out your place, and check out Manakara. And that's, that's, that's how the Malagasy do it. So this is the cooking area. This is the, the um, outside cooking area where you cook the charcoal on these little stoves. They're actually made to try and save charcoal so you don't spend a lot of charcoal. These designed like that. It's got a little terrace. Your brother-in-law's um, gendarmerie. So he's gone off to work. He's gone to arrest somebody today. He's gone, they need to go and arrest somebody at their house, take him back to the gendarmerie. So he's gone to do that, but he should be back fairly soon. That's the um, mother-in-law's house. His mother-in-law's house there. They're a minister, church minister. So there you go. Let's have a look in here. What's going on here? Zebu cat. Muslim guy with his zebu. In the sort of like foresty area here. This is um, the second bedroom. So, like a, a spare bedroom where he keeps all his stuff. There's his hat for his parades. Nice. All his shoes. He's got a lot of shoes for Malagas. I'll give him that. Like, he's got a lot of shoes. Let's have a look what else there is here. But it's all right for $33. Like, you know, it's not so bad a month, is it? Like a, a dollar a day or something. It's pretty cheap. This is the inside kitchen. Small, but it's got everything you, everything you need, really. You know, the plates, cups and bowls and stuff. A sink to wash the stuff. There's no tap. So I take it, they must have to... There you go. Yeah, they fill these water drums up probably downstairs. If they're lucky, there'll be a tap on this this place here. I should imagine there's a tap. There's three, three four houses on here. That's the um, washroom there. The little orange building. To have a shower in the right hand side and a toilet on the left hand side. That's how it is. And all these houses, this house here, the one down below this one and this one, all share those houses. Share that toilet and, and shower. Customary to take your shoes off when you come in, in most places. Got a television, hi-fi, nice little table and chairs to sit and have your breakfast and that, and your lunch. They got a little fridge freezer. What's in the fridge freezer? Not a lot. A couple of bit, bits of fish by the looks of it. They've got juice, butter, oranges, and that's it. Arty. Cairo. We've got a double bed there. Their wash, their area for all their clothes here. We've got a little terrace that goes around the house here. Derelict house here. Needs needs rebuilding. It's a mess. Don't know what's happened there. Like it looks like they've yeah they've built that. They've built this brand new. This is a system in Madagascar. Like the you want to build a house, you buy land, and then <laughs> there you go. Yeah, look. Then you build, you you buy your power pen, your breeze blocks, you stack them up. When you stack them up, when you've got enough to build your house, you then start saving for the cement, or you you buy stone and um, gravel and that. You build two big piles of stone and gravel for the foundations. Then you buy your metal work for the for the fair. This stuff here, the um, the metal. So you buy that, and then, when you've got all that, then you save up for the builder's money, and then they can start. That's how it's done. It's like a five-year process. But some people, they, they start building, and then the price of the materials goes up over the couple of years, and they're like, hang on a minute. I can't afford to finish this. It's too big. And instead of building a small, like, little one-bedroom house or two-bedroom house, they, they go for, like, the, the big four-bedroom or something like this. 
and then it ends up they put like this guy here he's put the roof on and it looks like the roof's blowing off or whatever i don't know what's happened there like but this hasn't been touched here for at least five years this this thing here it's never had windows in it it's never been finished and the guy hasn't got the money to finish it at the moment maybe he'll save his money up and in another five years time he'll come back here and finish this possibly like maybe who knows it's a bit of a shame really isn't it nice big house like that and it's not finished but one day he'll manage to get it finished but that's the system Madagascar, like you know if there's no bank loans you don't go to the bank and say oh can i borrow like twenty five thousand dollars or something because the rates the interest rates are like 25 percent, so <laughs> you got no chance of paying it back there's the, the well washing line that's the owner's house at the back there of this land so she just collects the rent from this she gets 30 dollars from this one 30 dollars from the other and probably like 40 from the other one so she's getting like a hundred dollars a month in rent from three houses it's it, it's small amount i don't know why it's so small to be honest with you but it just depends on the area i guess like and here rents are cheap so there you go that's it for this video manakara i'm on vacation for a couple of days i'm gonna stay here it's cheap and cheerful and then i'll be off back to tanner i'm gonna stay there a few days sort some things out there and then back to nosy b and back to business thanks for watching give us a like give us a sub and i'll see you in the next video